All right, welcome to today's uh, Android of Code. It's gonna be a short one today. Um, I'm gonna give myself like 30 minutes. So, um, cause I, uh, I'm gonna go for a visit. Hello, Sobo, Sobo, I don't know how to, Sobo CJ, I don't know how to finish that. All right, but uh, yeah, cause we're not gonna be too long today. Let's just get to it. I hope it's not a hard problem today. Nine, uh, code. All right. A lot of, uh, I mean, this is supposed to be lo-fi music, but it's, it's actually, it's going hard, right? Day nine, I just, uh, day nine. I remember that guy. Module main where? Okay. All right, so we have the uh, kind of the base skeleton. Let's look at problem nine. Okay, the case seems to be lava tubes. Parts are even still all kind of like a small hydrogen burns. Release smoke. Okay, lava. Ooh, that's cool. Parts are even still volcanically active. Small hydrothermal vents release smoke into the caves. Okay. Uh, if you can model how the smoke flows through the caves, you might be able to avoid it by and make that much effort. The submarine is a height map of the floor of the nearby caves for you. Smoke flows through the near point of the area it's in. For example, consider the following height map. Okay, each. Okay. So we have this height map. Let's see. New file. Example. Paste it. Now we're going to read the example. We're going to say read input. And it's going to take a file path and it's going to return a um, list of list of ints over in IO, right? So read input. And it's going to be a uh, read file. And then we're going to do the classic fmap uh, map F over lines and now so map line where line takes in a string and returns a list of ints let's see line um, okay so we are just gonna go uh, line equals map c to d where uh, c to d so this is going to be a character is equal to read add int no just read uh so c we just make it into a string right for read and uh, what is the problem here? All uh, right, we didn't do a dot. All right, let's read input example and pipe it into a print. GC03 day9.hs and day9. We just time it. We're just gonna run this command again, and again. All right, we've got the height map. Looks correct. Yeah. Okay, where nine is the highest and zero is the lowest location. Be your first goal is to find the low points. Uh, the locations that are lower than any of its adjacent locations. Oh no, we have adjacencies. It's gonna be a graph algorithm. Most locations have four adjacent locations: up, down, left, and right. Locations on the edge or corner of the map. Have three or two adjacent locations. Um, okay. 
so let's let's just write that right okay so let's say a uh, so task one so we're gonna get the like the, the side neighbors right and then we're gonna transpose it and get the side neighbors um of each and every one so we're taking a list of hints and uh, we return a list of uh, so each number do we need to like return coordinates what is the sum of the risk level of all low points on your height map um do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, this should be enough for for now. Okay, uh, let's see. Task one. Okay, so nums. Okay, so uh, we're nays. Hmm. Okay, so I have the so the, I have the I have the corners. So I've drawn the edge. Okay, so um, hmm. So let's say here a uh, nays equals. This is going to be something defined for now. So nays. Let's say, uh, so we, we, we do the nays of nums, nums. Okay, let's say, just say nays of nums plus plus the uh, nays of transpose nums. Okay, so here we get the uh, so we're gonna get it like this. Let's see. Uh, nays equals undefined. I think I'll have to import transpose from data.list. It's a very basic uh, function, right? It just takes the list of lists and transposes it. Okay. Um, All right, so we have to actually get the uh, cohorts. Or we have to like cleverly zip them together because like it's not enough to just get the, yeah. Let's see. Um, the nays of the first one and the rest. Nums. And then and two and then R R. So this is gonna be a um, N. N comma and then we have uh, the N two. So we just get the like the edge one plus the nays prime of uh, n n to r. Okay, so uh, nays prime. That's going to take the second one. So it's going to take n uh, n two n three and r. And this is going to be equal to. Uh, N2, N comma N3, uh, plus the nays prime of um, of uh, N2, N3, R. Uh, 
Okay, we'll do it like this. But Nays Prime, now we need to do the other edge case. So we have N2 and N3, and then we have an empty list. This is going to be um, N2, comma, just the list N2, comma, N3. Yeah. Okay, so this should work because we will never get because that's how that's just how they work. Um Yeah, okay. So this one is going to be Let's just check what we get right here for um, map, nays, and numbers. So it's going to be a, a line, list of lines, right? Let's just check what we get for the... Uh, first one, right? Oh, no. It's complaining because... Um, right, so it's going to be a, a list of these. Why though? So, so neighbor two is uh, one. Let's just take the head of this list, right? Okay, so we got the first one. So it's two one nine nine nine, right? So two one 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 as a neighbor nine and two nine as a neighbor nine and one and nine nine as a neighbor nine nine, and then we get the nine as a nine four four nine. Okay, so we have uh, this is like one line. Now we need to, um, we need to, let's say here, map M, let's just print all of the lines actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I still actually, I actually have here, like the 21999432111. So I actually have the original structure, right? So if I take this... Okay, so... There's gonna be, uh... So I have, a uh, Map, so this is gonna be the horizontal maze. Okay, so map nays nums. Okay, then I transpose this. So, and then I'm gonna get the other list. So two, three, nine, eight, nine, right? Two, three, nine, eight, nine. But I already have the yeah. Okay, so. Uh, Nays two of n and two r is equal to, uh, and here we're actually we're adding to the n ones, right? So um, n comma l, and then we have n two comma uh, right. Okay, let's just do it like that. So n at then something and two at something this is gonna be something and then nays prime n and two r this is gonna be nays two prime actually um right so we we're, we're adding to n here so we have the we don't care what the 
We do care what the, we don't care what the end is actually. Yeah, we okay. We, we care. So we have we want the uh, the NV and the N neighbors, and then we have the N two. And here we just care about NV two. Okay, and now this is going to be uh, NV. Uh, NV2 and N. Right, so we add NV2 to the thing. And then we just continue. This is nest 2 prime, nest 2. Okay, so we have here N2. And now we're adding to N2. So add NV2. NV2. So we have NV2, let's call this just uh, N and N2. So N at, okay, we actually don't, uh, so we don't actually use the N here. So it's, um, so we say N2 and then whatever. So we're not recurring, right? So this is, and here we have the NV and the NN. And then we want to return the NV into NN. And then the same here. Okay, so here we actually just call about call care about the NV and we don't care about the neighbors. Here we care about the NV2 and the N neighbors. Here we care about NV3. No, we but not the neighbors. And this is gonna be a NV, NV3 plus, uh, let's just say like NV, NV3, and then nays two prime. And what is it complaining about now? Object H. Oh, right. Wait, okay, so I have here the... Oh, this is the... NV2, right? Yes. Let's see. Yeah, we're on part one, Fabian. And let's actually transpose this again. So we have three one, and then the one here has nine two nine. Yeah, and this nine here should have one eight nine. Eight one nine. Seven nine nine, and the zero here should have. Oh, the one here has two two and zero, and the zero here. Oh, this should be zero, right? Uh, what did I do wrong? Ding, 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 ding. The one, two, two, zero is correct. So before we did all this nays business, we had the two, one, nine, 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 four, three, two, one, one. Two one nine 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 four three two one. Oh, I think it's something wrong here. So if we're at the end, all oh, right. So we're at the end. We don't want like we want like this. N three, N two. So then we want the N value, and then N N. 
and then we want uh, N2, NV, and then So that, yeah, then we got the 0, 1, 1 here, and 8, 9, 7, and then 1, 2, 2, 0 still, yeah. Okay, we built this one up. Now, uh, we find the... So now we built up the neighbor map, right? Classic. No need to craft algorithms. Okay, so we have this one. This is a list of lists. Now, uh, uh, nmap equals this. Okay, so to, we need to map um, so we have the nmap. Now we want to return the sums, right? So we say map when we're mapping a list, map uh, s fmap sum on nmap. And then we should get the sums of the elements for. Yes. And then uh, the first goal is to find the low points, locations that are lower than any of its adjacent. Oh, okay. So it's not sum here, it's um, is low. Where is low takes in a n and a r and is equal to uh, all uh, locations that are lower than any. Okay, so it's uh, n less than r. But here we have a. Um, Let's just put N here. And then we find the low points. We get the one here and we get the zero here. And then nothing this row and then the true for the five here. Okay, then we say a Um, right, okay, now we're going to, uh, map, filter, uh, SND. Did you get just the low points? And then we, uh, map at first. And this one should give us a list of list of hints. What's up now? Map map FSD over this. And then we get this. But instead of mapping, we just do. Sum, and then we do the sum. Oof. Okay, and now we can't map here anymore, so we just print. 11, which is... Oh, this one should be 15. That's not good. Where do we go wrong? Let me see. So we get the one and the zero, and we get the five, and we get the five. Oh, and then we didn't. The risk level 
of a low point is 1 plus its height. Okay. So it wasn't the sum map here. It was actually map first. And we have to say 1 plus. Right? I get 15. Okay. Let's run it for the input. Oh, we didn't change for input. Four hundred and seventeen in sixty four milliseconds. All right, that was the right answer. Your one goal start of finding that slay keys. Okay, cool. Now let's check out. So we did part one. Uh, so as I said, we're gonna do a short one today. So I'll see if we can kind of figure out how to do this right away. But uh, if we can't, it's gonna be. I'm just gonna yeah end it early. Sorry about that. We'll finish this then tomorrow. All right. Next, you need to find the largest basin. You know what areas are most important to avoid. A basin is all locations that eventually flow downward to a single low point. Oof. Therefore, every low point has a basin, although some basins are very small. The locations of height 9 do not count as being in any basin, and all the other locations will always be part of exactly one basin. Yeah, this one's gonna be hard. Cause uh, I mean, it's not hard, but it's like, we didn't do the, we don't have the actual adjacency list, right? We just have uh, the list of uh, the values of its neighbors, right? Okay. Let's do this. So we we still have the uh, the uh, the adjacency lists, but let's uh, let's see what we can do real quick. Okay. So here we have a transpose and map uh, transpose. Map nays nums. Okay, so instead of saying map nays nums, we're gonna say map sip zero nums. Doom, doom, doom. So we sip zero with nums. Do, 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 do. Transpose. Sip, sip. So map nays. Okay, so what, what, why doesn't it want to give us that? because I use nmap here so but why doesn't it uh, so instead of so nay should take a list of list of int comma int 
do um so first yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give them all an index right i think that's probably the best so we have the numbers indexed indices and geez. yeah actually i because i have uh i i have to actually go now to i'm gonna go for a visit to a friend so uh, yeah so i'm thinking i'll i'll let this be for today um git add day nine dot hs uh, git commit em task one of day nine and then what i'm thinking is i will do um i'll do a double feature or triple feature or maybe a double feature only this this weekend right so uh yeah so i won't be available tomorrow either and so i'm gonna leave task one now here right then do a double feature of uh, day nine and day ten like the rest of day nine and day ten on uh, saturday and then day 11 and day 12 on sunday but no ex exactly uh, the approach doesn't help at all right i mean i find the low points and then i can kind of Okay, so I know what the low points are. Okay, that's a good one. Let's let's look at that. Yeah, because like I didn't model it, right? So I know that the low what the low points are. So I guess I could kind of uh, start from the low point and then um, find. Um, check it let's let's think about that yeah that was task one right we know which ones the low points are so we know that uh, you know that's it's one zero five and five right and those are lower than all of their neighbors and every all of these are exactly in one basin so you can see that the low points are the lowest point of each basin, right? Yeah, so if I had an array, I could do this easily. Let me check. Uh, so we have the low points. Now let's uh, let's go back to. Okay, I'm gonna give myself 15, 16 more minutes. Let's see what we'll see what happens. I really need the. Uh, we have the neighbor map. List the list to see event. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. So this is a uh, so nums so okay. indexed. Um. Okay, and then we actually gonna
So this one is going to take a, a function here. Uh, where plug in. So what does this what does this type? So it takes in the int and a list of integers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we take the uh, uh, the y coordinate and we say a uh, map uh, x comma v uh, to a uh, x comma i comma v. And then this will be like this. And then we have this end map is going to be indexed. Now let's print out the indexed end map. How do you do it, Tanep? So I think this is easier in a imperative language, right? It's not good. All right, so let's do the map m. Okay, so let's look at the first one. Right, so it has a zero, zero, and it has two. Zero, one is three. One, zero is one okay um then we have to define a new map is low okay is low it's not gonna take it's gonna take in uh It's going to take like a, a pair, right? Which is its coordinate and its value. And then a list of pairs. And it's going to... Uh, so this is going to be... Uh, C, V, N, add. Okay, and it's going to return N. And all... V dot... Uh, and this is going to be a list of pairs. V less than dot S and D. So now this will is slow operates on our end map. So let's say map map is low. Okay, so now we can find the low points again. But we want to keep the um So we want to keep actually the neighbors except if they're nine, okay? Cuz the nines are barriers. And so we have a map um We're gonna have an R, uh, so we're gonna so we're mapping over something over the R. I'm going to map maybe here. No, a map is slow. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the R's and I'm gonna remove. So filter. So I'm going to remove an R. Uh, so not equal to 9 dot S and D. Okay, let's see here.
Okay, that's the first step. Now let's filter also out the ones that are nine. Because we don't care about the basins. Okay, a Okay, so this is going to be a map filter. Okay, and what I'm going to say is a, I'm going to take in something here. And it's actually a triple I don't care about the second, I don't care about the third, uh, and in this one, uh, uh, X. Uh, X not equal to nine dollar. Did I do too much? Yes. No. So I want this one, and then I want this one. Yeah, okay. And then I want this to be mapped over all of them. So now removing all the nines. Now let's uh, actually do a map and print. Now we're gonna map over the map. So the first one is like zero two and zero one, right? So we have, and then we find the low point in that basin right and then we're gonna find the second basin based on this hero Uh, but now I've screwed it up, right? Because, yeah, I can't remove the nines because then the coordinates aren't valid anymore. So I can just ignore the nines, though, but yeah. Okay, so now if I map map... Okay, so this is like a... Let's just call it something. I don't know. VB check is equal to uh, this one. VB check. Okay, so uh, LPs is equal to map filter um, then now no uh, x to x over the VB check um, and then filter not null so lps so we get the list of the low points with their uh, with their neighbors <laughs> okay um we filtered out the nines Okay, so for each of these low points, uh, we have the end map. Okay, so let's. Okay, so let's say basins. 
of empty is equal to uh, empty. Now, basins of a low point and LPS is equal to uh, find from LP, LP. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm actually going to say basins equals fold R. Um, no, oh my god. Basins equals map find from LP. Uh, LPS. Now find from LP. So flow point is of this form, right? Um, how about I actually just do... Because we don't actually need the neighbors afterwards. So let's do it like this. Does this is actually still work? Yeah, okay. So then it's just gonna be a pair there. Um so we filter not null. I mean map map ab check. Ab check map is low. Yeah, we can have the LPs. Okay, so uh basins is equal to um um map find lp so post lp is equal to uh okay that's just the yeah and map right so we go map 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 uh, fsd vb check because we still want the filtering so post lp is going to be like without the Without the low point? Yes, but we have the adjacency list that are not nine. Okay. Uh, now. We're going to have the basins equals. So these are going to be the connected trees, whatever. Map find from LP. Like this is a classic. We're not finding the forests in a tree or whatever find from lp um find from lp uh, and we have we have the root and we have the lps okay now our let's put all of this at the top actually uh find from lps so how does a world point look like? It has um, so we have the coords and we have the neighbor. We don't actually need the coordinates. So we have the um, value and also the coord and the value and the ends equals um so let's just return ends here to just see um basins find from lp Ooh, and the uh, map Right, so because the... Yeah, yeah, okay. So I do... Um, so LP is this. And then we do... Let's do actually... Con no, yeah. So we have the LPs and it's going to be... A list of lists. So we just do... Concat. Oh, we don't actually need this. Yeah, okay. So we can just do concat map here. So map m print. All right, this is, this is the neighbors, right? So we don't we ignore those. And this is the NS. 
And we're gonna print the neighbors of all them basins. Okay, so um so for each low point, right? Uh, we're just gonna say um so these are the neighbors okay so we're gonna like say find from l map and find from lp um so we're gonna take the neighbors so we have the uh chord c and the v and the ns where um so we have the cohorts so we're gonna say here uh until no new so we're gonna say until no new uh, and then we have a set dot empty and ns now we have to import Data has set, has set where okay until no new and then we have found and then we have ns now this is gonna not gonna be set dot empty it's gonna actually be set dot set dot singleton c um and um let's just say where until no new is equal to so C and uh, NS is equal to C. Let's just say that. Just to see what we're getting. So then we just get the set. One zero. Yeah, yeah. Because the base in here is one zero. Because it's X comma Y. Okay. Um, so we're get NS and then we have cohort is equal to um this is a post lp bang bang so this is x comma y post lp bang bang y bang bang x uh, and then post lp so this is going to be a, a list of blah blah and this other, it's going to be the second one. Okay, uh, so get ns. This is going to return us a list of neighbors. Um, you get uh, what extensions are you using from haskell uh no extensions really this is just the this is the uh, haskell language server so yeah um okay so let's just say and then um map fst So oh, okay, uh, until no new NS. So we have NS. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we get the neighbors here, and then okay, so if we have until no new of empty is equal to C. Until no new um, C, and then we have a neighbor. Uh, what is the neighbor here? Find from LP. So this is a list of, yeah. map first ns yeah so this is going to be just the chord uh found uh found chord chord rest uh we're gonna say uh, get ns 
12 cohort. Okay, so we get all the neighbors of the cohort. And then we go... Mm, yeah, map. Filter. Uh, Set.lm. Map. So this is going to be filter. Uh, not set lm uh, found right we're gonna take those we haven't found already um, do 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 and this is uh oh i think it's set dot member uh, so this until no new found so this is set dot member uh, this is gonna be where new equals okay so we just do um so we filter those uh, that we haven't found new is going to be a list of int comma int Okay, so we kind of look and we find and then we say we're new and um, then we just do until no new found. Until no new and then we say uh, found uh, Set dot union set dot from list new and we say rest plus plus a new so this should give us the uh, the elements oh no Oh no, this one just gives C. Okay, so we get the we should get found here. Ding 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 ding. Okay, so this is the first basin, 000110. And then we have the second basin, the third basin, and the fourth basin. Now we are going to say a get these x comma y. Is you call map second dollar second uh, post LP no right we we're not map this is gonna be the first uh this second of the first of post LP bang bang y uh, bang bang x. So th this is going to be, uh, this is going to return the value. Okay, so we have a set. Uh, find from LP. Okay, so we found the set. Now we could do here. Uh, we found the basins. Uh, map. So set dot two. Uh, just just to do to list I don't I don't care which one it is so now we should get uh, sets and then we uh, map get these Two, three, and one for the first one. Two, three, and one exactly. And then zero, four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, and let's map get the sum. Okay, let's see. So this is three, nine, fourteen, nine. Oh, sixteen. What? Oh, size. This is not. Uh, okay, so we're we're taking the sum. To take the links. So three nine fourteen. Uh, 
Ooh, and then we have one more here. Okay, let's see. So three, nine, and fourteen, and then there's something wrong with this last one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. So find the three largest basins and multiply their sizes together. Oh, we don't actually need the values. Okay. So then we don't need this one. Uh, but let's uh, let's figure out why. So we get the zero one zero one. Okay. So okay, let's look here. So zero one. Okay, this is uh, zero one two three four. Okay, so we should have a. So I think this is nine by four, right? One two three four five six seven eight nine. Yeah. So this is nine. So we have the eight. Um. So yeah, yeah, we, we have this one. We have the seven. Uh, let's let's actually map. Uh, let's still have the get fees here. Okay. Uh, map C to uh, C comma get V S C. Just so we see the values as well. Okay, so we have the 8, the 7, and the 6. The 8, the 7, and the 6. And then we should have the 5. We have the 5. Okay, but we don't have the um, 5, 4. Let's see. For the 3, we have the 7 and the 6. So we have the 7 and the 6. Maybe I'm adding like too early. To the. Let's do that. Let's just change it. Okay, so if a core set dot member found equals until no new found rest um, otherwise it's equal to until no new found and then found set insert oh, I said uh, uh, Cohort set dot insert a found. So we add the core to found and we say rest plus plus a get ns cord. This should terminate, right? Ding, 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 ding. Until, yeah, okay. until no new. Okay, now we get more elements here at least. And uh, let's map it. Set dot uh, size is what we care about. So three nine fourteen nine. Okay, three nine fourteen nine. That's correct. Um, then we take the top three. Uh, sort uh, the three largest 
poisons. Okay, sword. Reverse. Okay. Take three. And then some. And it doesn't. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, okay. This one is just a uh, filter S and T, actually. Okay, let's check it. Uh, now there's nothing to print. So it's just task two. Ooh. So we get 32. Uh, no, we should do take the product, right? Product. So let me, sorry, I was just, I, I forgot chat. So you need to find, yeah, okay. Okay, so Tana probably did it better than us. Because, you know, actually doing something in ST reps uh, and like actual stuff. But he says it's unconventional. But I like this, right? Like, the, you should probably do it like this. Because it's a very imperative problem. But now we're here just, you know, this, this look up here is not... This look up here is not good, right? Uh... So we should probably actually, yeah, but we're actually, we're only looking up once. So it's going to be fine. And we could replace this thing with a race if it was, if it was behaving bad. If it's super slow, let's check it out. So we get 1134. And now let's run it on the input and let's just see how long it takes. Uh, but like, I don't think we're doing anything super crazy. Okay, so 143 milliseconds. And... Uh, Taneb, how long did it take you? I'm like, we don't know if this is correct. It's correct. Let's check. All right, we got it. Damn. Okay, I got nerd sniped a bit there. Uh, I was gonna go leave early, but whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, okay, but like, this is just a, it's a lot of, a lot of manipulations, right? Uh, but like, yeah, like I said, I think like if it takes under a second, we're not going to worry about it. Like this is under the, under the hundred milliseconds sometimes, right? So we are, uh, we're doing fine. Do, 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 do. I like the blame file, flip it, number reverse it. Okay. Um, get status. Get add update. Task. Day nine, task two. Git state. Oh my god. Git add update. Git commit am day nine task two. Okay, push. I mean, I think we did pride well in that sense that it's not a lot of code. Like, we're not reusing anything, right? But, uh. Ooh. Yeah, okay. This one is a uh, good point. So I map, map. Uh, filter dot snd so filter snd and i can remove this map and then we are also mapping again here so this is just one big map All right let's see oh uh, I may have screwed up here. So this one works. Now we are going to take the whatever is in this map here. Paste it. Add a dot. Remove the... And it still compiles. Okay, I think we, 
I think I should really get going. But I got nerd type a bit when Fabian was like, hey. <laughs> Didn't part one help you at all? And I'm like, we do know the low points. And that was what was all that took here, right? Uh, because we don't really have to find anything, right? We just need to plug like, because we know where to start. We know where to start. We start at the low points. And then we find the tree in the adjacency graph. And there are probably extremely fast algorithms to do this. Um, but we don't use them. And a, another thing is like, yeah, we can use functions to do this. Like they had this add in functions, probably like a combinator, blah, blah, blah. But, and they're like, this is not pretty. Like this naze thing. I mean, we did screw it up first right with we did with this but yeah uh but it worked out right and it's not using anything fancy and it's uh why okay and if i get lucky it takes 71 milliseconds but uh apparently not all the time i don't know my... 76 okay so it's uh it's at least uh, it's pretty good do, 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 do. Uh, yeah but i like this algorithm right it's just like walking the neighbor graph adding the new ones and this is like it's computing a fixed point right because it's just compute computes until like it it doesn't find anything new and then uh yeah all right, get status. Uh, did I get diff? Keep coming. I am smaller. Task one. Hit push. Okay, we push it again. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Like I said earlier, and then I got nerd sniped. I'm not gonna do a stream tomorrow. Um. But I'll do one on uh, Saturday, like a double feature probably, and then another one on Sunday. We'll see how the double feature goes. Maybe it will be like a 1.5 feature. Uh, same on Sunday. We'll see. We'll see how well, like we will do it eventually, but we will see like how fast we do it. Right? We will have to wait for like a fast one to do the double one. All right, but uh, thanks for today. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed the Haskell content. All right, until uh, Saturday, thank you so much. Bye-bye.